So this is part six of uh, the tutorials for the Rapid Rig. Um, I'm going to start off first talking about uh, dynamic parenting. Um, this is a bit more advanced, I guess. I don't know. Some people are probably aware of it and use it quite a bit. But uh, what you're able to do is uh, attach your arms, in, even in IK mode, to um, different parts of your body so that it moves with. So for example, you know, if you wanted to have the hand on the hip or the chest or the head, these are options. So you can move the head around and it will automatically uh, move with, you know, the hand will move with that body part. So to show, uh, first off, we'll start with the hips. So I'm going to turn on this and uh, I'm just going to move this over to the hips. And there we go. So now wherever I move the hips, you can see that stays with, and the elbow is currently locked. Um, so I'm going to turn that off. All right, so you can see the arms uh, getting a bit stretched there, so let's just see if we can't straighten it out a little bit here. There we go. All right, so now if I rotate the hips, there you go. Looks like he's drawing a gun or something. All right, um, now you'll also notice that uh, the elbow changes position based on that. So uh, what we also have, another option is um, with the elbow, we can choose whether we want it to stay with the main control, which is this guy. Uh, we can also have it attached to uh, the wrist. Okay, so if I rotate my wrist, it automatically rotates the elbow. Uh, I can also set it to only the shoulder so even if the wrist rotates it doesn't move but if the you know upper body moves it'll align with that um, and then the last one is a combination of the two wrist and shoulder so now uh, it'll kind of stay in between the two All right, so we can also do the same thing to the uh, to the chest. All right, uh, turn that on, move that up. Okay, so if I rotate at the hips, it'll obviously stay with, but I can also rotate it with this controller, and it goes with it as well. Uh, and then the final one, so I just turn this off here, uh, is to move this with the head. So let's bring the head down here a bit, a little more natural pose, straighten out the arm here. All right, there we go. Something a little more natural looking, sort of. Anyways. Uh, so now that I have that, zero out these two, and turn the head on to one, and I'll slide that back into place again. And so now if I rotate the head control, you can see that that goes uh, with it as well. Okay. Uh, so that's that stuff. I'm just going to zero this guy back out here, and we'll turn that off as well. Okay, so now he's back to uh, standard position. Put that back behind there so the joints aren't all flipping all over the place. Um, and you can see we still have the stretch. Now the next thing we have, and this works in both FK and IK, so I'll just uh, explain it. So we have this auto volume. Now what this does is if you're stretching the arm out, you know, you may want to be subtle about it where it just stretches a little bit and you don't want to see it losing that volume. So what you can do is go into this guy and turn off the auto volume and then there you go. And so now no matter how far you stretch, it doesn't lose the volume. And it works the same thing with uh, FK. So as I, you know, do this sort of thing, I can turn that off. And now the arm will stay, maintain that volume. Uh, and then, so now we're on to the cartoony stuff. So if you've created your rig um, such that you have all these extra joints because you've uh, selected to turn on your tune arms and tune legs, uh, you'll have all these extra joints. And this is where we can get into some of the more uh, cartoony sort of shapes, um, like Homer Simpson arms or like Dr. Zeus, where 
you know, the elbows may, may not come to a sharp point. So just as an example, I'll just bend, put a little bend in the arm here. Something like that. Okie doke. Alright, so once I have that, uh, you can see, you know, all these joints are staying pretty straight. Um, so what I can do is turn on the curve. And what this does is it, it puts uh, some curvature in those joints. And now uh, you'll have to play with this, you know, depending on what you need. You can see that's like way too much. But uh, in the case where like maybe the joints are stretched out more and I have, uh, you know, elbow lock on, those higher values might work better like that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn the uh, auto volume back on. There we go. So you can see that I can get these, uh, you know, this nice curvature in the arms uh, with that. Now this may be enough control for you. You may want a bit more. So what you can do is go back to the main control and then you have these uh, arm curve and leg curve controls. So I'm going to turn that on. And then we have these three arm controls. So this one uh, controls the other two. They stay kind of relative to that one. So I can move these around. Uh, I can rotate this one and it'll affect the other two. Uh, I can adjust these ones, get more of the shape I want. And uh, so if that's still not enough for you know what you're looking for uh, to get in your character arm, uh, you can go back to the, your main control here and turn on your micro curves. And this will give you individual curves for each joint. So you can really mess things up now if you want. All right, so that's pretty much the same for the arms and legs. All works the same. I think that's most of the features I wanted to cover with that. And so in the next part, I will be talking about uh, the other animation GUI that you can use.